Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. Happy St. Patrick's Day everybody. And I wanted to explain some of St. Patrick's Day in greater detail. Now, St. Patrick's Day might have a lot of festivities going with it, large consumptions of alcohol, in some cities they dye the river green, but there is far more to St. Patrick's Day than just that. For Ireland, and for many Irish the world over, St. Patrick's Day is a very important holiday. And one thing to understand, St. Patrick's Day is actually the feast day for St. Patrick in the Catholic Church. It's a big holiday in the Catholic Church and it is actually a public holiday in the Republic of Ireland and in Northern Ireland. It is also a public holiday in the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm going to get to that in a moment. St. Patrick was actually a Christian missionary who helped convert many of the Irish in Ireland to the Christian faith. Hence why Ireland is a primarily Catholic country. And it is said that he died on March 17th, hence why today, March 17th, is St. Patrick's Day, the feast day of St. Patrick. One reason I am filming these shamrocks. Now, the shamrock culturally is a very big symbol in Ireland. However, there is a reason that Shamrocks are very synonymous with Ireland and St. Patrick's Day. You look at this, this is three, this is a three leaf clover. You got, a, you got three leaves here, one, two, three. Now, the three leaf clover, the shamrock, it is used to describe the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The shamrock was used in Ireland to describe the Holy Trinity. You know, you've got three leaves here, Holy Trinity, three, something to think about. And shamrock comes from the Irish Gaelic word shamrog. It means young clover. And that's exactly what a shamrock is, it's a clover. And the interesting thing is, if you think about this from a distribution perspective of where you can find shamrocks, you can find shamrocks throughout much of the world. Many parts of the world you can find them. You can find them here in the state of Georgia where I'm filming this. And, you know, they grow well in moist climates, so hence you can find shamrocks growing here. So, contrary to popular belief, shamrocks do not grow only in Ireland. You can find them in Ireland, but you can find them in many parts of the world as well. You've got more shamrock right over here. And some more. This is considered an important cultural symbol in Ireland. And it's a plant that you can find in many parts of the world. It became a cultural symbol of Ireland mainly through St. Patrick.
As for where St. Patrick's Day is celebrated, it's a public holiday on it's a public it's a public holiday here in the Republic of Ireland in Northern Ireland. And it's a public holiday in the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador. And it's a public holiday there for a reason. You have to think about the migration of the Irish. A lot of Irish migrated to Newfoundland and made a very big presence there in Newfoundland and Labrador. And for that reason, you have a lot, you have a very large Irish culture in Newfoundland. That large Irish Catholic influence on the island of Newfoundland and in Labrador. And for that reason, St. Patrick's Day is a public holiday there. But you got big celebrations in other places. Boston, Chicago, New York, Savannah. You had a migration of the Irish to a lot of these ports. To like New York, Boston, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Savannah, Charleston. A lot of Irish immigrated to Chicago. You had that large Irish immigration. And it made a very big cultural imprint in the United States and in Canada and in parts of Canada. So St. Patrick's Day is actually celebrated the world over among many who are Irish. And a little interesting fact, there are actually more people there are actually more people of Irish descent throughout the rest of the world than in Ireland. A lot of people, a lot of Irish people went to Canada, went to the United States. Many Irish went into Mexico, other parts of Latin America. Many went to Chile, Argentina, Brazil. Some went to South Africa. Some went to Australia and New Zealand. But when you think about St. Patrick's Day, don't just be thinking about, don't only think about the drinking. You gotta think about the cultural aspect, the migration of people who have sort of brought Irish culture to other places and St. Patrick's Day having a big presence in those areas. A lot to think about. So it's you got to really think about cultural geography, you know, about the culture of the Irish people, their faith, their just don't don't think about drinking. Think about how it became a holiday, think about sort of the other important factors in St. Patrick's Day. Hope you like this video. Be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Happy St. Patrick's Day.